Okay, g'day all and welcome to another video. We've got something special for today, something a little bit fun. This is the computer science lockdown quiz number two. We're gonna have four rounds this time. There's gonna be six questions per round for a total of 24. Uh, they're all multiple choice and you'll get a choice out of four. And at the end of each round, we're going to go through the answers. Yeah, so that you can check between rounds. Hopefully you get a lot correct. Good luck is all I've got to say. Some of these are very difficult. Some of them are very easy. I don't know, just depends if you know them or not really. <laughs> well, you can guess, all good. Anyway, good luck, let's get started. Computer science lockdown quiz number two, the 2021 edition. <laughs> Question one, what does LAN stand for? L-A-N. Is it A, local area network? B, linear aerial node? C, linear area node? Or D, list archiving network? LAN, what does that stand for? Question number two. Along with Sergey Brin, who co-founded Google? Was it A, Brin Turfell? Was it B, Tim Berners-Lee? C, Larry Page? Or D, Barbara Millicent Roberts? Brin Turfell, Tim Berners-Lee, Larry Page, or Barbara Millicent Roberts? Question number three, which of the following extensions is generally used for a type of sound file? Is it A, JPG or JPEG? B, WAV? C, TXT? Or D, ZIP? Z-I-P. That's JPG, WAV, TXT or ZIP. Okay, question number four. This is gonna get a little bit computer science-y. I hope you've brushed up on your big O notation. Which of the following big O notations expresses the slowest growth? Is it A, big O, N? Is it B, big O, two to the power, N? Is it C, big O, N, log N? Or is it D, big O, N squared? Which grows the slowest? One of those big O's is considerably faster than the others. But which one is it? I don't know. Question number five. Another uh, abbreviation. What does USB stand for? Us put. <laughs> is it A, Universal Scalar Bus? Is it B, Unix System Broadcast? Is it C, Universal Serial Bus? Or is it D, United System Broadcast. Question number six. This is a pictorial question. I want you to look at your monitors or your phone or whatever it is that you happen to be, you know, looking at this thing on. You'll see a picture there of a wonderful looking black and red object of some description. <laughs> This is the question, listen up. All right, in 1985, this was the fastest computer on Earth with 1.41 billion floating point operations per second. What is this machine called? A, the EDVAC. B, Deep Blue. C, Wall E. Or D, the Cray 2. And that is the end of round one. Whew. So we breathe a collective sigh of relief and now it's time to go through the answers. Good luck, I hope you got six out of six. Okay, here we go, question number one. What does LAN stand for? Well, that's easy, LAN stands for A, local area network. 
Question number two, along with Sergey Brin, who co-founded Google? That was C, Larry Page, would you believe it? Well done, by the by, boys, well done. Nice one, Google, wow, <laughs> holy macaroni. Question number three, he holds up two fingers just as uh, boldly as only the ignorant. Question number three, we were looking for a sound file extension. That is uh, a dot .wav, the wav file, or wave for long. Yeah, JPEG is for uh, images, WAV is for sound, TXT is a text file, and ZIP is a compression format. Question number four, which of the following big O notations expresses the slowest growth? The slowest growth. So as N increases, which of these uh, four little expressions increases the slowest? Well, that would be A, big O, N time, linear time. You'll kick yourself. Question number five, what does USB stand for? Uh, it stands for Universal Serial Bus. And what I really like about USB is that they've made 12 of them and they've got 50 different cables. So that's very universal indeed. Well done, USBI. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. That's question number five, Universal Serial Bus C. And number six, the pictorial question on the end, that absolutely amazing uh, 80s supercomputer was called... Uh, the Cray 2. Yeah, D, Cray 2. Cray was the king of supercomputers for a very, very long time back in the uh, 80s and early 90s. And that is round one. Question one. Whose name is given to the architecture of a modern computer where the instructions and data share the same memory, as opposed to the Harvard architecture? A. John von Neumann B. Alan Turing C. James Gosling or D. Basil Fawlty Question number two, where is Silicon Valley? Is it A, in Perth, Western Australia? Is it B, Southern San Francisco Bay Area? C, is it between the Silicon Hills? Or D, Northern Long Island area? Okay, that was question number two. Question number three. What does AMD stand for? I mean, I'm, I'm sure they stand for kind of the, the, the righteousness and uh, goodwill of, of humankind. But what, the, what does the uh, letters stand for? Yeah, the chip manufacturer, AMD. Is it A, accelerated machine drivers? B, advanced micro devices? C, Anita Mary Davis? And D, advanced maths devices. Okay, question number four, a little bit about numbers. Here we go, question number four. What is the number 11011 in binary if you convert it to decimal? What is its decimal equivalent? 11011. Is it A, 16? B, 137, C, 27, or D, 3. Question number five. How many bytes are there in one kilobyte? How many bytes are there in one kilobyte? Is it A, 1 million, B, 100, C, 8,096 or D, 1,000. How many bytes are there in a kilobyte? 1K. A million, a hundred, eight, oh, nine, six or a thousand. Question number six, the final question of round two. I want you to look at your monitors. In 1972, this man played an android villain in the first feature film to contain digital image processing. I want you to tell me what was the name of the movie? Was it A, Lawnmower Man? B, Westworld? C, Tron? Or D, 
The Story of the Kelly Gang. Lawnmower Man, Westworld, Tron, or The Story of the Kelly Gang. And that, my friends, is the end of round two. So let's have a bit of a squiz at the answers, shall we? Uh, good luck to you all. I hope you got um, a million points from this round. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Um, a computer architecture, as opposed to the Harvard architecture. John von Neumann was the name we were looking for there. A. Question number two. Where is Silicon Valley? The answer that we needed there was B. Silicon Valley is in the southern San Francisco Bay area. B. Question number three, what does AMD stand for? It stands for B, Advanced Micro Devices. Good on ya, good company. Question number four, we had a little bit of binary there. 11011 in binary, the decimal equivalent is C, 27. Good stuff. Just add up your little powers of two there. Wherever there's a one in the appropriate column, you should be right as rain. You come to 27 every time, even if you add them up backwards. <laughs> Palindrome. Question number five, here we go. Here we go, question number five. Let's have an argument, this is classic. Um, the answer that we wanted there for question number five, how many bytes are there in a kilobyte? The answer is D, 1000. But if I ever say the word kilobyte, I mean 1024. <laughs> they want you to say kibi bit. Yeah, kibby bits are made up words, so I'm not going to start saying that. But anyway, final question of that round was um, this man just here. The amazing, the amazing Mr. Yul Brenner, absolutely brilliant actor. Uh, in 1972, he played an android villain in the first feature film to contain digital image processing. What was the name of the movie? It was West World. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely classic movie. And I think they, they made a, uh, a series of it on, uh, on like Netflix or something. Yeah, I haven't seen the series, but I did watch the original movie and absolutely loved it. I think it's written by Michael Crichton, yeah, who did um, Jurassic Park and Congo as well. Incidentally, the story of the Kelly Gang was uh, the first feature film ever. Yeah, it was a, a feature film about Ned Kelly. And it's lost now, except for just a few fragments. I think maybe 10 or 15 minutes of footage. Yeah, but that was the first feature film ever, the story of the Kelly Gang. Interesting stuff. Anyway, so in this uh, computer science quiz, you really brush up on your um, history of cinema as well. <laughs> and that is the end of round two. All right, we've reached the halfway point now. Okay, so don't press these keys. Question one, don't press these keys. Don't press them to test. Um, question one, <laughs> sorry. Um, question one, originally intended as a development feature, this key combination will reboot a DOS machine or interrupt a modern Windows computer allowing the task manager to start. What keys are they? Is it A, control, alt, escape? Is it B, Alt F4? Is it C, Control, Alt and Delete? Or is it D, ID, DQD? Question number two, what does CRT stand for? A, Caustic Repelling Timer. B, Capacitor Right Transformer. C, cathode ray tube or D, cathode real timer. Yeah, it's one of them. Caustic repelling timer, capacitor right transformer, cathode ray tube or cathode real timer. Question number three, round three. In 1968, Edsger Dijkstra famously wrote an article for the communications of the ACM. The article was called blank, statement considered harmful. What was the little statement that Edsger Dijkstra disliked so much? A, go to, statement considered harmful. Is it B, delete, statement considered harmful. Is it C, return, statement considered harmful. Or D, reset, statement considered harmful. Question number four. A little bit of a, a binary operation here. What is 
XOR 01011001. What would happen if you XOR those two bytes together? Would you end up with the number A 256? Would you end up with the number B 00000000C 11111111? I don't know if I said the right number of ones just said. D, 101001001001001001. Question number five, which of the following is not a pseudo random number generation algorithm? A, the general number field sieve. B, bloom bloom shub. C, X or shift. Or D, linear congruential. One of those is not a random number generator and the other three are. Question number six, here we go. So we had a look uh, a little while ago at um, a, an old supercomputer. This, my friends, is, uh, is a processing node of a modern supercomputer. So question number six. As of 2021, the fastest computer in the world is capable of more than one exaflop. That's 10 to the 18 floating point operations per second. And pictured here is a processing node from this machine. But what is the machine called? A. Fugaku B. IBM Summit C. Cray Jaguar Or D. Pick 10F200 yeah, it's one of them. Fugaku, IBM Summit, Cray Jaguar, or the Pick. Okay, write down your answer for that final question there, and we are done for round number three. So let's have a bit of a look at the uh, answers, shall we? Uh, okay, so question number one. What is the key that will reset a DOS machine, the key combination? The key combination that we needed there was C, Control-Alt-Delete. Um, don't press B, Alt F4, because that'll close the app. <laughs> That's what I said at the start. Don't press these. <laughs> See ya. Question number two. What does CRT stand for? It stands for a cathode ray tube. Yeah, cathode ray tube. So that's um, uh, uh, the component in those uh, old televisions and monitors, that big old um, well cathode ray tube that's inside them. Uh, those were the days. Nice bright monitors, nice vivid bright colors you get on a um, CRT monitor. Question number three. Uh, Edsger Dijkstra in 1968 wrote a very, just extremely influential article called Go To Statement Considered Harmful. A is the answer that we wanted there. Yeah, so before this article, people were using go to all the time. They used go to every second statement, go to here, go to there, go to the start, to the end. But um, straight after this article, nobody ever used the go to statement again. <laughs> number four, we wanted an XOR. So if you XOR those two things together, uh, you'll actually just get a bunch of ones. C is the answer. Yeah, because if you have a look at it, there's um, wherever there's ones in the first number, there's zeros in the other. And whenever there's ones in the second number, there's zeros in the first. Yeah, so the two are the bitwise complement of each other. And if you ever XOR the bitwise complement, you'll get nothing but ones. Question number five, which of the following is not a pseudo random number generation algorithm? Or well, the answer that we wanted there was A, the general number field sieve, which is of course an integer factoring algorithm. In 2021, the fastest computer in the world is the A, Fugaku. And that is the end of round three. We've only got one more round to go. So uh, tally up your marks for round three. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you've got a few right. And let's move on to the final round. Round number four, question one. In 1975, Moss Technology released a microprocessor with a price tag that was about one sixth the cost of uh, most of the competition. And this microprocessor went on to power the original NAS, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Atari 2600, C64, BBC Micro, and many, many more. What was the name of this chip from Moss Technology? A, the Zilog Z80. 
B, the Intel 8086. C, Logan Paul. D, 6502. Uh, question number two, who launched the GNU or GNU project? Developed the GNU compiler, GNU Emacs, amongst many other things. Was it A, Luciano Pavarotti, B, Richard Storman, C, Mark Zuckerberg, or D, Alonzo Church? Yeah, who launched GNU? Who did it? Question number three. In 2020, Apple released their new line of Macs. Much interest surrounded the new M1 CPU. But why was this chip so interesting? A, because it stores all of the system RAM in the CPU. B, it is ARM based instead of x86. C, this chip was designed by Elon Musk for use on Mars. Or was it D? This chip lays eggs. Question number four, we have another uh, acronym. What does BIOS stand for? B-I-O-S. Is it A, Babs is out, sorry. Is it B, Basic Interpreter for Operating System? Is it C, Business Input and Output Subsystem? Or is it D, Basic Input Output System? BIOS, yeah, what does it stand for? Uh, that was question number four. Moving on to question number five. The number 1.1 in hexadecimal or base 16. What is the decimal equivalent? Yeah, so if you write 1.1 in hexadecimal, what does it mean in, uh, in decimal? Does it mean A, 1 and 1 16th? B, 1 and 1 half? C, 1 and 1 over 10, or D, 1.1 in base 10. Okay, here we go, and we have the final question. This is a, a sound and sort of visual question, so I want you to uh, look at your monitors and listen very carefully, and the question will come after a short clip. Open the pod bay doors. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about. There we go. So the question is, who or what was Dave speaking with? Was it A, The Matrix, B, HAL 9000, C, Brainiac, or D, Queeg? Yeah, who was, uh, who was Dave speaking with in that little clip? Interesting, interesting stuff. Okay, and that is the end of the fourth round and the end of the quiz. Let's have a bit of a look at the answers to that fourth round. Good luck all. I hope you got a few of those right. Let's have a look. Okay, question number one, round four. The answer that we needed there was D, the 6502 from uh, Moss Technology in 1975. Question number two, uh, who launched the GNU project, developed the GNU Compiler and GNU Emacs, among many other things. The answer that we needed there was B, Richard Storman. Question number three. In 2020, Apple made quite a stir by releasing uh, their little um, line of Macs with an M1 CPU. But what was interesting about that CPU? I'll tell you what it was. The M1 CPU is B. Uh, it is ARM-based instead of x86. Okay, question number four. What does BIOS stand for? That's easy if you know the answer. BIOS stands for D, Basic Input Output System. Nice and easy. Okay, question number five. A little bit of um, hexadecimal with a radix point. 1.1 in hexadecimal stands for 1 and 1 16th. A is the answer that we wanted there. The final um, question was our little sound clip just there. Who or what was Dave speaking with? 
Uh, Dave was, of course, speaking with B, the HAL 9000. That was uh, the amazing movie of, um, what is it, 2001, A Space Odyssey by um, Stanley Kubrick. I tell you what, that Stanley Kubrick, can, uh, he can certainly direct a movie. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Well, my friends, that is uh, just about it, really. So that is the end of the quiz. Tally up all of your marks and uh, leave a comment down below so that you can share what you got. Yeah, other than that, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope that was fun and uh, have a good one. We'll see you again next time. Adios.